right guys, I'm going to show you how to make collard greens. And believe me, this is another one of the meals that is low tech. I can do it. Anyone can do it. Collard greens are very easy to do and I have three ways that I make them. Uh, one way is um, I cook them. I use chicken necks as a seasoning or turkey necks. Um, today we harvested a a bunch of turkey so we have plenty of turkey necks but um, I'm not going to use a turkey neck tonight I'm going to save them for another day another way that I season these guys is I use a nice big ham hock and I put that in the pot and let that cook down with it and that gives it a real good taste of ham with the, um, with the collard green but tonight I'm going to do it um, the way that my daughter loves it Samantha um, I use chicken thighs in the pot with the um, with the collard greens. So when we get through, we have food, to, uh, we have meat to go with it. So it makes a total meal. So when you get through, you have um, the chicken thighs and you have the collard greens, and Nancy will make some um, cornbread to go with it. Okay, as I'm. Um, as I'm cleaning them, I wash them off, and um, the way I do it is I take a big old leaf, and I'll grab that thing right about here, and I pull that big stem off, and I throw it away. So what I save is this tender part of the leaf. And this, see how all the stems, all the veins, all look about the same in the plant and the leaf now. So. That's fairly, um, that's fairly tender right there. I'll, I'll rip it, rip it and put it in the pot. I get my pot about half full of water and I'll keep adding these collard greens into it because um, collard greens are gonna cook down. They don't cook down anywhere near as much as the spinach does, but you wanna add a big pot big pot to, um, to cook because everybody's going to want seconds. Okay. I've got all my collards ripped and I've got them in the pot. So the next step is, is um, I use a little, some salt and like I always do, I just use my hand. That's how I measure. And I put about that much salt. Nancy says it's about a tablespoon to maybe two tablespoons. That's how much I use. So you want to use however much you like. Don't use too much of that. Then I take the, um, the chicken thighs and I put them in the pot. This will give us plenty of food to eat. Okay, I put it on uh, medium high, cut it, and let that cook for a while. I want that to cook probably maybe, um, it'll probably take about an hour and a half, two hours at the very most. Once it comes to a boil, turn it down to a medium low and let it just simmer nice and slow. Let all that cook together and uh, make something pretty good. Okay, we'll be back. Okay, we've got it ready to eat. Take a look at it. Mm. Pull out some of this. Make a nice little bowl. Put in a piece of meat. piece of cornbread. Wow. Mm -hmm. We are ready to eat. Gracious Lord, we give you thanks for these and all other blessings. Forgive us of our many sins. We humbly beg for Christ's sake. 
Amen. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thank you for watching our videos. We love making them. If you like the videos, please press like and press subscribe to get free new videos. Also, share so you could inspire and encourage others. Have a blessed day and thank you.